couple of viewers on my YouTube channel have been trying out the interactive video feature and they've had a little trouble using drag and drops with it. So I thought I'd make a video today that kind of shows you what you might need to know to make drag and drop truly work with interactive video. So I've actually edited the uh, example file that comes with Adobe Captivate 2019. Uh, that includes uh, interactive video or a sample of interactive video. And I've gone ahead and added uh, a bookmark and an overlay. So I'll just share that with you here. You can see here, uh, here's my bookmark. I just simply called it exercise. And later on this slide, of course, is an opportunity to display the overlay slide, which in this case will be the drag and drop. So let's go over to my drag and drop slide. And you can see here, it's pretty much a standard drag and drop. And in this case, we're just checking the, the learner's knowledge of the benefits of exercise. So I've set it up that these are proven benefits of exercise over here, uh, item one, two, uh, four, and six go into there. And there's a couple here that are distractors. Uh, in this case here, I have a incorrect caption as well as a success caption already set up. Now the users in question that uh, made comments on my YouTube channel, uh, specifically we're doing a two try attempt drag and drop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up the same. We'll have two attempts and uh, we'll reset the slide after the first attempt. I've changed the pause point to be a little bit later because I have some narration on this slide. Another thing I like to do is to check redrag the dropped source. This gives users an ability, or learners rather, the ability to uh, move dragged items to another spot if they've erroneously dropped it on the wrong drop target. Uh, so we're pretty much set up to go here. The only thing we need to do is on failure, set it up to return to the video to that bookmark. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll select jump to bookmark from the on failure action and we'll select, I only have the one of course, we'll select exercise as the bookmark and we'll check continue playing the project because we want it to continue to play. So let's test this out and see what problems they're running into. So here's our video. Here's where the bookmark is. So here's our drag and drop. Let's purposely get it wrong. So I'll drag all of the items over to this first box here. And we'll hit submit. And that's incorrect. And we see my incorrect caption down below. We'll do this again. I'll just randomly choose some spots this time. And you can see the problem is, is it jumps immediately to the bookmark in the video. There's no pause for reflection or for feedback. Uh, the users might be a little jarred by this. The learners might be a little jarred by this. Uh, so you might want to try something a little bit different. So here's my workaround. Uh, what I'll do is I'll make some changes to this particular uh, interaction here. I'm going to add these two captions that I've created. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the success caption on the drag and drop because we really won't need it at this point. This is a smart shape with some text, including uh, a text um, icon as well. This is generated using the font awesome font, but you could have this simply be click this caption to move forward with the video and uh, I just stylized it with this. 
So uh, what I've done is I've created this. It's called Correct Caption. It's not visible in output by default. And I have uh, the incorrect caption. So these are simply smart shapes and I've checked use as button so that they become clickable. The users can click on these when they appear. So the action for the correct action is simply continue and it will continue uh, with the rest of the video at this point. If I, uh, if I get it wrong too many times, I get the incorrect caption and the action for that clickable item is to jump to that exercise bookmark and obviously continue playing the project. So what we need to do is we need to modify our, um, our slide a little bit here. So uh, because you're going to return to this slide, I think it's important that we set up a, uh, a, a, an advanced action here. Uh, we'll just go into this advanced action here. I've already created it. And all it simply does is uh, hide the correct caption hide the incorrect caption. So every time you enter this slide, whether it's an overlay slide or not, uh, these two items get hidden. And I'm just going to center these on the screen so that they appear in a good spot for the, the learners. And uh, let's go back to our actions for the drag and drop. So on success, rather than simply continue, we're going to show the correct caption and this is why I unchecked the success caption and on failure we're going to do something similar we're going to go show and we're going to do incorrect caption and we're going to uncheck continue playing the project I am going to still show the failure caption because the first time I wanted to say incorrect it will appear on the second attempt as well but that's okay and um, again, everything else is pretty much as we had it before. So this will change the way this interaction works. And I think it'll be a little bit more natural looking for end users here. So let's just do a preview of this project. So again, here's our video. Here's the bookmark. Exercise is good for us and helps us lose weight, but most of us probably don't realize just how many benefits exercise actually brings. Exercise is good for your muscles and bones, can reduce pain, and can reduce your risk of chronic disease. It also supports skin health, helps with relaxation and sleep quality, fosters brain health and memory, and increases your energy levels. What did you just learn about the benefits of exercise? So here's our drag and drop here. Let's purposely get it wrong like before and see what happens differently. Uh, so we'll make another attempt. Obviously we didn't learn it the first time around so remediation is required. So we'll hit submit. We get this incorrect message. It's very clear what, what we need to do now. So let's review the material. I'm going to click this. It takes me back to the bookmark. I'm now forced to review the lesson again and make sure that I've learned what I'm supposed to learn. So now we have another attempt and uh, of course remember on slide entry we hid that previously displayed um, incorrect caption. Let's get this correct now. Uh, improve mood, decrease feelings of depression, uh, doesn't restore hearing loss, um, it does decrease feelings of anxiety, hair regrowth is not a benefit of exercise although some people wish it was. And we'll decrease the stress there. We'll hit submit. So now we have our correct caption. And this works a little bit more like regular multiple choice uh, knowledge check slides. So I think it'll be more in keeping with the uh, other types of uh, interactions that you give your users. And I can click anywhere on this caption 
to continue with the rest of the video. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.